Hey, what's up guys? Hi Farm here. Uh, just wanted to make a little video. Um, a lot of people have been talking about, you know, all these earthquakes and whatnot and how California is going to have a big earthquake and all that. And uh, I would say it is true, you know, there is going to be um, an earthquake coming soon probably because there hasn't been one in many years. Uh, so they say it's it's ready to go any day. Uh, so when everyone hears earthquake, they're all thinking, you know, uh, a big tsunami that's going to come and hit into the whole shoreline of California and uh, devastate everything. But that's not likely, well, I mean, that could happen, but there's other things that are definitely going to happen that are going to be just as, as bad, if not worse, that uh, aren't really talked about. So I wanted to make a quick little video uh, to explain um, this other factor that uh, that's going to happen when it does. So here's a picture of uh, a little news article that I found. Um, and it says, 10 years after Katrina, uh, will California's capital be the next New Orleans? Uh, and that's how bad this uh, scenario and how tragic this is going to be when it happens, um, they're actually saying it's going to end up being worse than uh, New Orleans. So just as a thought there, looking back on, on how bad that was, uh, this is going to show you basically how bad this disaster is going to be uh, whenever it happens, uh, if it happens soon like people are talking about, or next year or five years. Uh, whenever it comes, it's going to be big, it's going to be bad, and uh, not too much has really really been done to prevent it from happening. Uh, so, so it is destined to happen. It, it's going to happen. Uh, so let's get into this, and I'll, I'll explain a little more to you guys. So this main area um, it, that's of concern is going to be in Northern California, um, up by the Bay Area near San Francisco and, uh, Sacramento. Um, as you can see in the picture, um, the different colors, there's, uh, a lot of areas that turn to, to marshland in that area and a lot of, um, areas that are actually sinking and are below, um, sea level. And there's these real big levees to hold the water in from uh, breaking, but they're not really any new technology or, you know, army corps of engineers designed and, and built levees. Um, to kind of backtrack here a second, um, like the history of the Delta area was humans, you know, being there like 4,000 plus years ago and tracing all the way back to Native Americans and, uh, and whatnot. Um, and then what really happened that sparked the need to build those levees was, uh, during the California gold rush, um, a lot of people came there and then that was when, uh, agriculture and farming, um, just started and really took off. Um, so out of ag interest to use the land, and um, to have a way of having irrigation water, uh, the levees were built. Uh, so the farmers built the levees in like the 1850s, and then uh, in the 1900s they were uh, redone, you know, somewhat upgraded, but still really not not too much of you know quality. Looking how it was back then, and the equipment and everything. Um, so just to touch bases on a little bit more about that area is, uh, that area over there has, uh, agricultural crops that are valued at $500 million and that area in general with the ag and the benefits of it, um, bring about $2 billion to that local economy. Um, some of the crops grown there are uh, stuff like corn, grain, hay, sugar beets, um, what else, alfalfa, tomatoes, asparagus, uh, and then there's some fruit and nut trees, 
and then uh, some livestock farms over there as well. Um, so basically, being where it's at, and you know, at sea level, and the levees built up, it has caused the water to sub underneath the levees and form, you know, like a, a marshland uh, that's just real soft and soggy, which is uh, basically really, being a marshland is really brittle for those levees to break in general. Say there was a big earthquake or something to happen, uh, it's very easily um, to happen. Uh, some of the areas in that marshland are twenty have sunken twenty five feet below uh, sea level, and uh, they say in order to get those levees built like they should be and correctly, that um, the Army Corps of Engineers came in, did a project um, to look at it, surveying it, and they said that it was going to be two point five billion dollars. Um, to make those levees safe how they should be, and that has not been done. So basically, without that, you know, uh, improvement being done, uh, and how they all say, oh, the big California fault is locked and loaded, ready to go, um, those levees are also locked and loaded, ready to burst, um, so here's, you know, another little article that was in the New York Times saying California's next nightmare. So, uh, you know, and it's kind of talking about how people are forgetting how bad, um, you know, real surged floodwaters are because um, that's basically what it's going to be. You're going to have a, a huge earthquake disaster, uh, earthquake like never before. It's going to be one of the biggest ever in history because the faults are ready to crack so bad, and then you're going to have the biggest flood of ocean water breaking in from those levees breaking and basically just flood out the whole California. So it's going to be a tragic event, worse than what people are thinking how it's going to be in their head. So it's, it's really going to be pretty chaotic. So here's uh, just a little picture I threw in of a whole bu bunch of houses just flooded with water to the top. Um, I don't know where this was. It may have been from Katrina. Um, I'm not sure. I know there was a big flood a while back from the Mississippi River also. Um, but basically what they are stating and estimating that the water is going to go all the way past down to Sacramento, and Sacramento could be 25 feet deep or higher in water. Um, so that's just going to tell you how bad that is right there. There's going to be sky rises, you know, on who knows what floor, and water all the way up to the top. So it's definitely, definitely going to be devastating. And it's going to be, definitely going to be a place you're not going to want to be when it happens. Especially if there's also a big tsunami wave coming in after the earthquake on top of these breaking. Uh, I mean, can you only imagine on, on how bad that would be? Uh, it it's just be terrible. So here's another little article um, that states how the levee situation... Um, for California is going to be way worse than the New Orleans um, incident was. Um, and it just talks about how uh, EPA uh, people have looked at it and analyzed it and, and basically saying, you know, that this situation and scenario, um, how they quote, is just, you know, like a monstrous accident waiting to happen. Um, so here's just a little, you know, write-up proof on, on, you know, how bad they're predicting it to be. And here's uh, another picture of basically, you know, showing what's going to happen when the levee breaks. And if you look up top, you can see the house up there and just water storming in. So it's, uh, it's going to be a bad, bad event. 
So here's a little article that's saying more than a decade ago, a geologist looked at it and uh, estimated a 64% chance, being conservative, he says, um, of a levee failure rate. Um, so that's probably worse being, you know, him at a conservative guess and how much worse they have predicted the earthquake to be each year that it goes on and on and on saying, you know, it's going to be bigger, it's going to be worse or when it happens. So, um, I'd say it's probably like an 80% chance, maybe 90, 95% chance that that thing's going to break in multiple spots, um, whenever the earthquake does come. And here's another picture on how one of those levees can break. Uh, this one happens to have like a little road going through it, but I mean, just look at the sheer power and force of the water to break through that. I mean, it's just got to be a tremendous flow. And uh, once it gets going, there's no stopping it, and it's only going to get bigger. So here's another article uh, I'll let you guys uh, look over and read, but it basically just says that no planning was put into the project, really, um, how it was built over 150 years ago. And the whole levees were actually just made of um, organic peat moss um, and compacted sediments with um, no foundation. Um, and then it also says the farmers would just uh, shovel them a little higher when they needed to be higher uh, if the, you know, the water was to rise or whatnot. And... Um, the guy evaluating it said it was a, a hodgepodge system uh, put together and there is no uniform design or construction to it um, and that it should be um, approached and fixed because it's a real serious issue for California as well in water since it gives two-thirds of its water source all spread throughout California. So here's another little picture um, I put just so you guys can kind of get a, a visual of uh, how much the ground has subsided and sank in over the years um, from a long time ago all the way to now. So if you were standing out there looking, those levees would be, you know, 10, 20, 30 feet tall, and up to the top of those levees would be, you know, water all behind it, and you're standing down there as if you're standing, at, you know, sitting at the bottom of a bathtub, so it just shows you how bad it's going to go when it's going to go, um, and here's another picture of a, a levee breaking, and you could just see the impact of it and significance of, you know, how much water is going to come raging through those. So it's going to be a serious deal. And, and I'd imagine once one breaks, multiple will end up breaking, and it'll just turn into a massive surge of flood water. So lastly, uh, this article basically just says um, anyone in general, uh, this is going to affect because... Uh, one, Northern California is going to get the shit flooded out of it, but number two, anyone down south in L.A. or anywhere down there is going to have a big problem too because the majority of their water down there uh, is from the Delta in that spot up there in Northern California. So whenever this does happen... Um, Basically, all of L.A., however many millions of people down there, are going to have no water. So it's going to be a massive, massive problem down south with no residents having drinking water, shower water. Like Literally, nobody will have water. So it, it'll be really interesting to see what's going to happen and where they're going to come up with, with getting water just for general daily use uh, I have no idea what the plan is for that 
and they probably don't have a plan. So that's basically about all I got uh, to kind of inform you guys that aren't from the area um, of another big event that's going to happen when this big earthquake strikes. So good old sunny California and Beach Girls is going to be good old flooded and ruined California and L.A. Hollywood with no water turning into a desert. So be interesting to see what happens whenever it does come uh, on top of all the buildings that are going to get crumbled from L.A. all the way down to the Bay Area or up to the Bay Area. So it's going to be it's going to be a big, big tragedy. So with that, I'll keep it real, guys, and we'll talk to you later.